Hi, this is Kara with DIY on the House. If you are new to DIY, then you might not know of our whole playlist of weaving videos on weaving rugs and hot pad holders. And the number one question we have on these rug videos is are they washable so I'm going to answer that today we have made all sorts of videos using different kinds of material for our rugs we've cotton polyester plush rugs we've done it with knit so we're gonna go ahead and wash a couple uh, of the rugs so you can see how they turn out after we get them out of the wash This will be the second time that these rugs have been washed. So I wanted to uh, take a glance at the before and then we all together can see what they look like after. Obviously every wash machine is different, but I'm gonna uh, do our rugs on Delicate. Uh, this is a sensor wash machine that only fills uh, the tub to as many items are in it so I'm only going to put the rugs in with nothing else on warm water with normal detergent and we'll see how they do. Okay the rugs are done and so you guys get to see it when I get to see it good bad or indifferent. So far so good. One thing I forgot to mention uh, when I was putting them in here, leave the backing on. That's why you sew it on there. Just leave it on. It would actually be a pain to uh, take it on and off each time. So there's the back. It stayed on just perfect. And the front is wonderful as well. I do see a couple um, threads that will need to be snipped off which is not a big deal but everything is intact so I do not put these in the dryer I'm gonna hang them on my rack oh yeah the, and the color stayed good I love it okay all three hanging and drying and uh, the backing stayed on well each of them have just a few threads that will need to be trimmed, but uh, it is a success. They held together nice. Here's my prototype table runner that I'm going to wash. I admit I am curious on how this one is going to wash, so I'm not willing to wash my table runner itself. So here is a before picture of the uh, prototype uh, hot pad holder, and uh, I am going to wash this just in a normal wash uh, in with my other jeans and stuff with on warm water, um, and we'll pull it out and we'll see what it looks like. Okay. I've already taken my other clothes out. Oh, it held together great. It did. It does look like it shrunk a little bit, maybe uh, this direction, um, because I did wash it on warm water and this is cotton thread. But I would have to say we have another success. Okay, the next rug that we are going to test the washing is the plush rug. When I was making this rug, the fuzzies were everywhere. I just put in normal detergent. I am going to put it on delicate, on cool, and we'll see what happens. Okay, the machine just finished. It says done. So. We are truly going to look in here at the same point in time and see what we found. <laughs> there, there are no fuzzies. And look at the rug. Totally stayed intact. The backing is still on. It is if we just got done making it. So um, I wash it on cold. I put it on delicate so that it wouldn't agitate so much, but it still spun it out. I don't put this in the dryer. I'm going to put it on my rack to dry, and uh, thumbs up. It worked just fine. 
So as you can see, it was a success. The rugs all turned out fine. The plush rug, the cotton, uh, the t-shirt one I just finished is gonna be just fine as well. So uh, just use cool water, put it on delic delicate cycle, and hang dry them, and you'll be able to enjoy your rug for a long time. Check out all the videos. We have videos on how to make the loom, how to use different uh, fabrics. I'm working on one now that uses twine, uh, so check back to the channel to see that one when I get that one posted. But as always, thank you so much for watching DIY on the House. Mm -hmm.